So graduates, it's now abundantly clear that we need to start doing things a little bit different. In your own lives, you'll need to continuously adapt to a continuously changing economy. You'll end up having more than one job and more than one career over the course of your life. You'll have to keep on gaining new skills, possibly even new degrees. And you'll have to keep on taking risks as new opportunities arise. We need young people like you to step up. We need your daring. We need your enthusiasm. We need your energy. We need your imagination. That's the great American story. Young people just like you, following their passions, determined to meet the times on their own terms. They weren't doing it for the money. Their titles weren't fancy. Ex-slave, minister, student, citizen. A whole bunch of them didn't get honorary degrees. <laughs> but they changed the course of history, and so can you, ASU. So can you, class of 2009. With a degree from this outstanding institution, you have everything you need to get started. You've got no excuses. You have no excuses not to change the world. Did you study business? Go start a company. Or why not help a struggling non-for-profit find better, more effective ways to serve folks in need? You study nursing? Go understaff clinics and hospitals across this country are desperate for your help. You study education? Teach in a high-need school where the kids really need you. Give a chance to kids who can't, who can't get everything they need, maybe, in their neighborhood, maybe not even in their home, but we can't afford to give up on them. Prepare them to compete for any job anywhere in the world. Find somebody to be successful for. You may look in the mirror tonight and you may see somebody who's not really sure what to do with their lives. That's what you may see, but a troubled child might look at you and see a mentor. A homebound senior citizen might see a lifeline. The folks at your local homeless shelter might see a friend. So class of 2009, that's what building a body of work is all about. It's about the daily labor, the many individual acts, the choices, large and small, that add up over time, over a lifetime, to a lasting legacy. That's what you want on your tombstone. Thomas Paine was a failed corset maker, a failed teacher, and a failed tax collector before he made his mark on history with a little book called Common Sense that helped ignite a revolution. Julia Child didn't publish her first cookbook until she was almost 50. Colonel Sanders didn't open up his first Kentucky Fried Chicken until he was in his 60s. Winston Churchill was dismissed as little more than a has-been who enjoyed scotch a little bit too much before he took over as prime minister and saw Great Britain through its finest hour. I know starting your careers in troubled times is a challenge, but it is also a privilege because it's moments like these that force us to try harder and dig deeper and to discover gifts we never knew we had, to find the greatness that lies within each of us. So don't ever shy away from that endeavor. Don't stop adding to your body of work. I can promise that you will be the better for that continued effort, as will this nation that we all love. Congratulations, class of 2009, on your graduation. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.